What if you try to swipe something that's on the altar? Will that work? Oh, she did. She actually swiped it. Oh, we swiped it directly off the altar. That is hilarious. Hi, it's Charity, and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims where we try to get all of the aspirations completed, learn all the skills, get every degree, and get top level in all of the careers, and basically do everything that you can do with a single sim. Now Carla is just working on her gardening where it seems her plants are bugged and have too many weeds. All right, well, we'll have to do that later. So we want to get the country caretaker aspiration underway because that involves winning a competition at the Finchwick Fair, which is kind of annoying. And I also want to collect all of the different ribbons for the fair. So we should get started on that soon. So we're just here in Foxbury and we're going to deface the statue for a point for the Spirit Club. And I think we have the Spirit Club and the Order of Enchantment to get up to senior member and then we should be good. Oh, the Debate Guild is not until Tuesday though. Well, there is an art society event going on, but I do have some mushrooms available to pick in the Bramblewood for some reason. Even though it's winter, these little mushrooms are showing up, so I'm going to get them while I can. Okay, that's so frustrating that we got four of the five items, but not the last one. I don't see anything else, and I think I'm just going to go to the art society thing. I did see a nightly mushroom. We can come back at night and see if we can get that. Actually, I don't even need to do the art society thing, so I guess while we're here, we'll buy some Brightchester stuff. Have we bought the items yet? I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure that all of these items are just available in Build Buy, so I don't need to buy any of them. Okay, I think I've already bought the apparel, so that's why this is grayed out. It says I can't wear it while I have a full body outfit, so I must already have all of the items to wear. Why don't you vampirically run? Okay, I found the last mushroom I need to pick in the Bramblewood, and she's not running fast. She's doing her slow human run. It only looks fast because I have it at double speed. Okay, now we need to reach maximum relationship with a cow, chicken, or llama, which the llama fair is this weekend, so maybe we can get a llama. You need to receive three gifts from rabbits or birds and win a competition in Hennifer on Bagley's Finchwick Fair. Now it is daytime, so maybe we'll try and get some plasma, but I don't know if it'll work. Well, it worked this time, uh, but not the second time. So now we have a white llama, but it's time to go to the creativity celebration. So starting a bright Chester cheer is actually really easy. And they do their little roar, and that's three times completed. Okay, now we're a senior member, and we can leave. What if you try to swipe something that's on the altar? Will that work? Oh, she did. She actually swiped it. Oh, we swiped it directly off the altar. That is hilarious. Okay, we have Max relationship with Cloudy now. Oh no, Butterscotch is passing away. Well, Butterscotch was with us for a very long time. What are you laughing at, Grim? Oh, he's looking at all the horses and he's reacting to the championship horse who is dead. Grim, what are you waiting for? Okay, don't wave to all the horses. Just get it over with. I think we're going to just say goodbye to Butterscotch now. We might keep one of the horses, maybe Tornado. And by that, I mean, we might have Tornado rejoin the household after she's a ghost. Come on, Grim, quit taking pictures. Okay, I think something is wrong with Grim. He keeps waving at the horses. Okay, finally. All right, thank you, Grim. Now leave. All right, we just finished our classes for the day. Now we have to do our homework. For the classes that we just took and then maybe we'll try and find some birds in order to befriend them oh there happens to be a wild rabbit here that we already know for some reason we have a 
good relationship with him, but for some reason I cannot get a gift. So maybe I have to give a gift first. Oh, you've already had an a gift from... Okay, I had a gift from a rabbit at home. So I guess that counts. Oh, of course, the birds are asleep. Great. So I have to come back during the daytime. Well, at least I got the nightly mushrooms since they only spawn at night, basically. Oh, okay. I finally figured this out. I thought that rival students would show up to the Brightchester Spirit Corps events, and sometimes they do. I had them show up once. But you can also go to the other universities' organization events, and they don't even have to show up as a rival student. You can just click on them and click mean under arguments if you haven't introduced yourself. It'll be taunt about university superiority. I think that will work. All right, so that did get us that experience. The only thing is that I have to wait for another event to happen for the Brightchester Spirit Corps before I get more tasks, and that's not for four days. They don't have events except for on Friday and Saturday. Oh, and Sunday. So they only have events on the weekend for that one. All right, all the other ones are now senior members, so I don't have to go to their events. I just have to go to the one on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I just realized we have two more days left on our survive for an additional 20 days as a vampire for our last vampire aspiration. So we probably should work on getting all of the vampire powers. So we're just here at the bar doing some random drinking from people. I know we shouldn't do this, but it also helps to lower our reputation, which is actually something that we want. Okay, the birds seem to wake up about 9 a.m. I thought that maybe they were hibernating for the winter, but no, they are awake during the winter. Oh, seriously? They pooped on me. I did not know they could do that, but we did get our third gift. Okay, we've befriended them, so now I don't have to talk to them anymore. Okay, my butler quit, and I got struck by lightning. That's fun. It seems like the taunt option only shows up if you do not know the person. If you know the person, you can't taunt them for whatever reason. Okay, now we're a senior member of the Brightchester Spirit Corps, so we don't have to do any of those activities anymore. I guess while we're here, we'll try and get some vampire experience. Another way that's supposed to be good for experience is to do a vampire duel. But you have to win in order to get the good experience. Um, yeah, that's almost a full point. I think we should do that now. Okay, we actually know Stephanie, so this will kind of ruin our relationship. But that's okay, we really don't need it right now. Well, she tried to leave, but I fought her again. And now it's not doing anything because she's looking at a future cube. What is wrong? Alright, finally, we're going to fight. Yeah, Carla is winning all of these fights. No, don't leave. I hate how they walk by, see you fighting, and watch the fight, but then when you try and fight them, they want to leave. Quit saying goodbye. Oh, it's Winterfest, and we're almost there on the vampire points. Alright, the only problem now is that it's daytime. So my dual partner is going to burn in the sun. Yeah, she's burning in the sun. I do not have that problem. Well, it's getting close to time to go to class. But I think that my dual partner may be dying. It's cloudy, though. I thought they fixed it so that vampires shouldn't die in Forgotten Hollow. Oh, I, my class starts in about an hour, so I should go after this one. Because if she does die, I'm going to be stuck here until Grim takes her soul so yeah i do not want that at least when you're a vampire you can take care of those pesky paparazzi oh we just hit our survive for an additional 20 days as a vampire all right so we just need to finish out our vampire points and it looks like we need about 15 more in order to get the damn emotions i really hate that one so i left it for last because it basically makes you fine all of the time. You can't use any emotions. 
Oh, we got our final grades. Okay, so I think this is our last semester and we have all A's or all A pluses. Yeah, it didn't ask us to sign up for another term. So we graduated with our first degree in art history. So we will eventually sign up for another degree. But I think what we'll also do is try and get all of the careers maxed that have to do with this degree first. Let's see if the vampire spar is just as good as the duel. And we beat Vlad. No, that's not nearly as good. Okay, so if we do a spar, we get a tiny little bit of experience. But if you do a duel, which is under the mean interactions, it will ruin your relationship. But you can still do it no matter how good of a friend you are with the person. So we're actually very good friends with Vlad. And we're about to be not friends with Vlad because I want to get this over with. Yeah, and that just basically erased all of our friendship. Oh, and we're here so late that Father Winter has shown up. Okay, we're going to have to fight Father Winter for presents. And this is what it looks like when you fight Father Winter. It's actually kind of cute because you see presents flying everywhere and you get a red cloud instead of a white cloud. A fire? Who started a fire? Um, no, Carla is not mean. I'm not doing that. Vlad, why are you on fire? Okay, we're going to save Vlad because we actually do not want Vlad to die. I mean, I don't think vampires can die in a fire, but maybe they can. I know they can burn to death in the sun, but I'm not so sure if they can burn to death in a fire. Oh yeah, this is haunted house. I forgot about that. I must say that the lighting in here is terrible. I could not get a good screenshot. Did we get presents from Father Winter? Oh, we did. Okay, so Father's Winter's gift bag was full of good stuff. Carla received a few presents in her inventory. Oh, we got a crystal. And a microwave. That's an expensive microwave. Not that we really need the Smolians. I mean, we have over 3 million, 3.8 million. We'll fight them for some more presents just because I want some collectibles. And we got a postcard and an easel and another microwave. Come on, I want collectibles. Okay, I'm not technically enrolled in the university anymore, so I cannot go to the secret enchantment meeting. I have graduated, so, all right. What do we want to do? Do we want to get a job now? Okay, we can be a critic, a painter, and a style influencer. So we'll start with the critic career. And this is an arts critic, and we are level eight. All right. So we need to get to level 10 and we need level seven writing skill, which we already have. And we need to review performance or write column and see, this is what you can do with a bad reputation. So let me show you exactly what I plan on doing here. I have an atrocious reputation. So that means I can call my boss and bribe him for job performance and this is a thousand simoleons and the first thing I'm going to try to do though is negotiate a bonus however I have seen the negotiation fail but I'm going to try that first just because it's free okay that made my performance go way up now the next thing I'm going to do is see how this negotiate a bonus is grayed out because you've already used it. Convince boss to give bonus also is grayed out. I think negotiation is based on your debate skill, a uh, research and debate. And I think convince is, no, never mind. I think negotiate a bonus is based on your charisma skill and convince is based on your debate your research and debate skill. So convincing and negotiating are both linked and you can only do them once every two or three days. I don't know exactly how long, but those definitely have a cooldown timer. This bribe boss for job performance does not have a cooldown timer. It only requires an atrocious reputation, but it costs a thousand simoleons every time you do it. But I have unlimited simoleons basically because Carla has so many ways that she can earn money that it's going to be ridiculous the amount of times I can do this 
and to my knowledge, I have never seen it fail. Okay, so it succeeded. So see how we have this gold check mark now for our career performance? The next time we go to work, we're basically going to get auto promoted. And the way that you can do this to make sure that you don't lose performance while at work because of something bad happening, like a pop up that you choose the wrong option that causes career performance loss, is to just not go to work. You can take a vacation day. You can call in sick, you can play hooky, all of those are valid. And basically, the next time your shift starts, you'll just get automatically promoted, even though you didn't go to work. So that's what we're going to do in the background. And we're still going to enroll in university, basically. So we're going to actually do the careers and the university degrees simultaneously to make this go as quickly as possible, because there are so many of them. And I know this is actually my most popular series, but we have so much to do in SuperSim that I don't think we'll ever run out of things to do. So even though we're going to be doing a lot of weeks this time, because we have seven weeks to get through uh, for this season, we are going to be making uh, a, just a little bit of progress, even though it seems like a lot. Okay, I do want to do the work from home assignment. And I think once I complete the work from home assignment, it will actually promote me. So it says, use the computer to write a comedy routine or select an instrument to write a song. Okay, I do need to work on my 75 hours of playing musical instruments. So maybe we'll do that. And we'll write a haunting melody with the violin. I would like to work on an instrument that I am not maxed out in, but unfortunately you have to be, I think, level six in order to write a song. And my pipe organ and my piano are still level one. Okay, we composed a song or routine. It didn't quite give us a promotion. I think what we have to do is wait until Friday morning, or actually Friday at noon, when our next shift starts. And that should give us the promotion. Okay, my sim cannot enroll for more courses at this time. All right, so I have to wait, I guess, because I currently have a degree and I've graduated. I cannot enroll in the next one yet. That kind of sucks. I wanted to get started on that as quickly as possible. I guess we'll finish off our vampire thing then and go fight some more vampires. All right, I just need one more point, and there it is. Now I have completely purchased all of the vampire powers. So even after Carla takes the cure for vampirism, if she ever becomes a vampire again, all of these points will become available to her, and she'll be able to buy all of them or any of them that she chooses. All right, we are going to drink the cure for our vampirism. And we are going to never be a vampire again. And she's changing back into a normal sim. All right, and I also got the milestones earned art history degree in another got a job as a chief critic in the arts critic career. But it's not giving me credit for manifesting as a non-occult sim. So there are going to be some milestones that we are not going to be able to get just because the game will not give it to me for whatever reason. I also did not get credit for getting caught cheating when I was working on that, but I was a teenager. So maybe the get caught cheating has to be done as an adult or a young adult. I don't know. So hopefully we can get those. I was hoping that the became a non-occult sim or manifested as a non-occult sim would be credited as a young adult since maybe it wouldn't work as a teenager because it wasn't a full vampire because I didn't age up to a young adult yet. Um, I'm not sure. So it's not giving me credit for that. I'm going to have to just say that I did it and check it off because there is absolutely nothing else that you can do in order to get that to work. And now that we're no longer a vampire, guess what? It's time to go back to becoming a werewolf. Mm -hmm. Hi, Greg. No, don't go to sleep. Wake up. Let's see if we can defeat Greg. Yeah, I didn't think so as a human. So hopefully we got bitten. Okay, yes, we have werebees. 
Okay, we need to work on our rock climbing skill in order to do the climb to mount to the top of Mount Kumarabi. So that's what we're doing right now. I think we need at least a level 8 in order to make a gold event. Okay, the graduation ceremony starts soon, so maybe we will go to that. Okay, we won't do this every time, but I think we should do it at least once for each school so that we get a picture in our cap and gown. The thing is, you stand out here and enthuse with your friends, and you have to keep clicking attend graduation and eventually it will make you go in but if you don't keep clicking it your sim will go off and do something else like get water or play a video game or something like that and you'll miss it it's also good to turn off autonomy at this point the reason why she can't do it is because it called her here but it's not time for them to go in for the graduation yet all right there they finally went in and i'm trying to get a screenshot of this We'll see how it goes. It's kind of cloudy, so the lighting will be bad. Okay, they come out about 12.52, or about 52 minutes after they went in. So they throw their caps up, and it's really hard to get this as a screenshot because it is so quick. But I managed to pause it in time this time. Ah, that's still a crappy shot. All right, well, that's the best I'm going to get. It's really weird because of the uh, auditorium in the way, so I still don't think I can get a really good shot. Oh, the camera's terrible. Yeah, that's just about as good as it gets. Okay, we got a graduation portrait, which is really cute. And I'd li like I said, I'd like to get one at each school, so we probably won't attend the next graduation. That should mean, however, that we can enroll in another university. No, we cannot enroll for more courses at this time. Okay, how long do we have to wait? We had our graduation ceremony, but I guess we still have to wait a little while. That's fine. I guess we're just going to go on the Mount Kumarabi thing while we're waiting. And I need to vacuum. Hey, I want to use the climbing thing. Get off of that. Now, I actually suggest that you get rock climbing level 8 before you go to Mount Kumarabi. Because last time I did this, I got very minimal skill gain when I was going up the wall. It doesn't make any sense. When you practice climbing, you get skill gain. But if you actually do the mountain excursion, you get hardly any skill gain at all. I mean, like maybe 1 or 2%. And if you're not level 8, you can't finish all of the tasks. Okay, we're level 8. Now we need to take care of our llama really quick and make sure that she is really happy. And she is very happy. Good. Okay, the graduation portrait actually doesn't look like it's from Brightchester. There's no green on it. So I guess it's just generic and it doesn't depend on the university that you go to. And we'll purchase some rock climbing gear just in case. Okay, you have to be really close to this trail marker in order to get credit for all four of them. That is annoying. What is also annoying is for some reason I keep zoning in with my outfit as my graduation outfit. That is kind of dumb. Okay, we have been surprised by some kind of spirit. Okay, what does that do? I'm not seeing any interaction options. I want to go take a nap. Okay, I have to rest for at least an hour, which is kind of annoying because I don't want to do that, but it's part of the goals. Stop shoveling snow. Come to the marker, please. All right, finally. Oh, I can't climb courageously? Ah, uh, I guess level eight is not high enough to do that. My rock climbing skill is level 8. But I cannot climb courageously. Maybe I can practice here for a while until I can climb courageously. I only have 6 hours to complete this though. All oh, these people are in my way and I can't even climb up the wall now. I need to practice. All I can do is inspect climbing wall conditions because there's 3 people already trying to climb. Note to self, do not take four people with you on a mountain excursion. Only take three. I think it only requires you and one other person. I would say 
the best bet is to take yourself and two other people, but that's it. Okay, it looks like she's going to reach the top first. All right, we have five hours to practice. And we're not even gaining any skill. Why don't we gain skill for actually climbing the wall? Our skill is not going up. Okay, you gain the skill at the very end of the climb, which is stupid. But that's just the way it works. I can climb normally, attempt climb, and climb cautiously. And I just fell. But I did gain some skill from that. Okay, the practice one is the one you want, I guess. Why is she running? No, don't run. Just practice climb, please. Yeah, don't fall from that height. This is going to suck if she actually falls from this height because I don't have anybody else in my household right now. Okay, level nine. Now I can climb courageously. Okay. I'm not going to cancel this because I don't know what it would do if you canceled it while you were halfway up the wall. Oh, come on. We want to go up to the top now. Just get a little... Okay, you're far enough to where if you fall, it doesn't matter. I'll stop the climbing session now. Okay, and it does look like it actually lowers her down gently instead of just stopping it and dropping her. Okay, now we'll climb courageously. So if you actually want gold on all of the events, you need to be rock climbing level 9, not rock climbing level 8 in order to get everything done. Okay, let's move on. Everyone go to the trail marker, please. Why are you standing here at the top of the wall? Okay. We finally made it just with a little bit of time to spare. Okay, we did reach the peak. Do I get credit for that? Okay, good. So now we need to survive three wildlife attacks unscathed, achieve level eight skiing, snowboarding, or rock climbing skill, which we, are, we already have done that, but it probably just hasn't given me credit yet. And successfully complete high intensity skiing or snowboating on an expert slope or rock climbing during inclement weather. Okay, I guess this is just we reach the peak. I mean, there's probably nothing up here and nothing really to do up here. Okay, the event did complete though. Okay, work is supposedly in six hours. So what I need to do is take time off from work somehow. Oh, you can just work from home but I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Let's play hooky and see if we can call in sick. Well, that worked. Now what that does is if you call in sick or you take a vacation day, the next time your shift starts, you should get promoted. And why did my performance go back to low level? Um... Why, am I, why is my performance average again? Okay, I had my performance maxed out and something screwed up. All right, so let me just fix that really quick. And I can't for some reason. Is my reputation too high? Yes, it is. Okay, I need to fix that. All right, back to an atrocious reputation. Good. Now we just have to bribe our boss for job performance. And we're back to getting promoted, hopefully. Okay, we can finally enroll in university again. Okay, the next one is biology, but that one has to be at Foxbury. Yeah, Foxbury has the distinguished degree, so we will do biology at Foxbury next and take four classes. And we only need eight classes to graduate. Okay, so this will only take two weeks in sim time to get this degree. I don't know why it removed all of my scholarships. I guess I'll have to reapply for those. Okay, I think we got lucky this time. And our classes are not until Monday. So we'll go ahead and do all of our homework, our project, and our term paper. And then we'll go back to our aspirational goals. Now, the reason why that's lucky is because Carla is going to rampage as a werewolf sometime. And I think it's in the next day or two. So hopefully we can get our first rampage over with and not rampage and miss one of our classes because that will be annoying. Um, okay, actually, I'm transforming right now. Interesting. Okay, well, immediately get the will to resist and somber howl. Please tell me you can regain control. No, don't go snarl at someone. I told you to regain control first. 
Thank you. No, that didn't work. All right. Oh, we already have transformation mastery, so it doesn't matter if we scare people. We do need to get werewolf empathy, which might be difficult. Oh no, it's werewolf diplomacy that's in, that it's difficult. We already have that one. Okay, so the rest of these should be pretty easy. Werewolf menace, we could just go scare someone. Where is my ranch hand? Or the gardener. Of course, the gardener left. So now we have to scare the maid. Oh no, anti-capitalistic canine. No, no, no. Okay, this means basically we don't want to have a job. We're going to have to get rid of that. The must be clean one is fine and the night wolf is fine, but that one has to go. Why can I not regain control? Okay, now this might be a problem. I have this emotional meltdown whenever I have an extreme emotion. And it's supposed to get rid of the extreme emotion after you melt down. But I don't know if that works with vampires. No, it does not. Okay. So it's no big deal. Okay, I can devour the chicken feed. Oh, that's good. Because devouring actually gives you experience as a werewolf. And I don't want to devour anything that's expensive. Because I know I have unlimited simoleons, but it's annoying to have to replace things. Quit interacting with the horse. I don't like horses sometimes because they stop you from doing things and it's just a little bit annoying. Okay, we need to survive a full moon and unfortunately that is not tonight. If you set the lunar cycle to two days, it will make the full moon happen faster. And I need it to happen faster because it needs to happen on the weekend when I am not going to class. I should have thought of that earlier. Don't mind me, just doing my homework as a werewolf. Oh, we don't have any projects. We just have a term paper and three exams. Okay, we did get promoted to arts critic level nine, and we're currently working from home because I forgot to take a day off, but that should be fine. All right, the Ventric Fair has started, so we'll put Cloudy on our inventory and enter the Llama Fair. All right, we just have to make sure that Cloudy stays very happy and we'll probably get first place in the llama fair. You can't feed them while they're here, though. I guess they don't get hungry. Okay, the Benchwick Fair should be over in an hour, but I don't know if I won or not. Oh, we got a third place ribbon? Really? Fine. This always takes a while. All right, I'll have to try again next week. Well, this is the end of the week. We have to complete the full moon tomorrow, since it's the new moon today. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.